Let's compare the FFT capabilities of the Regal MSO 5000 series and the Tektronix MSO 2000B series. Both instruments are recently calibrated and the Tektronix is running firmware version 1.56. Both instruments are looking at an FM modulated signal centered around 10 megahertz. To begin with, let's look at the Tektronix instrument. To enter their FFT menu, you first press math, and then within the math menu, you press FFT. And once that's on, we'll see it in red displayed on the screen. And in order to move it vertically, you actually press FFT again. And then with their multi-purpose knobs, we can change our scaling of the signal, and then we can move it down vertically. And once we've got the signal where we'd like it, we can then press FFT again. And to change the horizontal view with our multi-purpose nods again, we will then change our scaling and we can scale in or out. And then once we've done that, we'll actually move the signal over to where we're centered at 10 megahertz. I overshot it a little bit. And here we'll see the FM modulated signal in their FFT mode. Now let's look at the Regal instrument. To enter its FFT menu, I'm first going to press on the touchscreen, the multi-purpose menu, and then press FFT. And within here, I can actually display up to four FFTs at once. This allows me to have either multiple FFTs for one channel or displaying on the multiple different analog channels. So let's just select one, and we'll turn that on. And what we'll see here in purple is the FFT of our FM modulated signal displayed. And what we can do to change our vertical scaling, we can tap on that. And we can say enter in our desired scaling. And we can also enter in our offset as well. And once we've done that, we've just moved it down. And in order to shift it over horizontally, we'll press more. And then we'll change our start of our view to 8 mega megahertz. In the end, we'll change that up to 12 megahertz, and we'll now see our signal displayed. And currently what we're looking at is our FM modulated signal on the frequency domain. And within this menu, with this instrument, we can actually change our RBW settings, which are actually located and displayed in the purple bar at the bottom of the screen. And what we'll do here is we'll scale this out, and as we scale this out, we'll change our RBW settings, and we'll get better resolution. Next thing that we can do with this instrument is we can use the peak search capability to find that peak and identify it. And we've got it identified already. And it'll show our peak and it'll show it move around on the screen as the signal's moving around. Last thing that we can do with this instrument is if we go back and then we press more, we can actually view this FM signal in a color grade display, which shows us how often that signal's occurring at each sort of frequency point which is a great way to view a modulated signal or a signal that's not consistent. The Tektronic instrument creates its FFT like a traditional oscilloscope, whereas the Regal instrument creates its FFT more similar to a spectrum analyzer. It allows you to easily change its span and vertical scaling, along with view a peak search and view the signal in a color graded display. 